Hey there folks, Mike here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can create a video-based quiz question in Articulate Quizmaker. In fact, we're going to look at several different ways that you could build a video-based quiz question. We're going to take a look at a standard multiple choice question. I click on the video, I watch it, and I answer a question based upon what I'm seeing here in the video. So I select, we move on. Here I've got three different videos, so maybe the learner is going to watch each of these videos individually and decide which of these is the correct way to make a stop. Quizmaker so awesome, we can watch all three at the same time if we so choose. Here we go, we select and submit. And then finally, same type of thing, but maybe I want the learner to actually click on the video itself. So we use a hotspot style of question here to submit our answer. So let's go ahead over to Quizmaker and take a look at how we build these out. I'm here in Quizmaker, and what I've done is I've gone ahead and inserted a standard multiple choice question to get myself started. So to do so, I went to the Insert tab, I inserted a graded question, multiple choice, and then once I inserted it, I went to the form view and I entered my question text and my answer choices and then chose the correct answer. So if I go to preview this, you'll notice that we have a nice standard multiple choice question with some hover overlays here when I hover over the answers. So from slide view, what I want to do is I want the learner to watch a video and then answer this multiple choice question. So I need to insert a video. So I go to the Insert tab, Insert Video, Video from File. Now you'll notice we have a lot of different options that we can insert. So lots of different video types, lots of formats, which is great. I've got some ready to go here, so I'm going to open one of those up. And it's going to be inserted onto my slide, and once it's there, I can resize it, I can move it about and get this formatted just as I'd like. I can choose to have some video controls, maybe I want the learner to be able to play and pause. And then I will choose whether I want the video to play automatically or when it's clicked. So just that quickly, I preview this. The learner can click on this video, watch the video, and then answer the question. Now you'll notice those hover um, accents over the question type here, they disappear behind the video. The size of that hover is predicated upon the size of this entire bounding box that surrounds the questions. If you don't want those to be behind the video or on top of your video, take those, slide that entire box over to the left, and now when we preview this, you will see that it is much cleaner looking. There we go, perfect. Now, here's a cool bonus tip. Let's say that you want the learner to have to watch this entire video before they can answer the question. Well, to do so, here's what we do. We're going to set the video to play automatically, so when the slide starts, the video begins to play, and you'll notice the video is 10 seconds long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this multiple choice box down here in my timeline, and I'm going to have it appear after the 10 second mark. So when I preview this now, the video will begin playing automatically. And then once we get to that 10 second mark here, the questions will appear over here on the left and then the learner can answer the question. There we go, perfect. And so just that quickly, we have created a multiple choice question with a video on the slide. So that's the first question type. So creating multiple choice question with a video on the slide. Now the second question type that we want to work on is a multiple video, multiple choice question. So I have the same setup here. I've got the yield, the signal, the stop. And what I'm gonna do is this. I'm actually going to take this bounding box. I'm going to stretch it out from side to side here and move it on down. And I'm gonna take each of these individual items and I'm going to shrink them down because what I want to do here is I want to take and move these about. So I'm gonna put this up here in the middle up there on the right. And what I could do is I could move these about a little bit, get the placed just about where I want them to be. There we go, I can move this down. You'll notice that these might reset a little bit once in a while, you may have to resize them, but that's looking good. Now, once again, all I have to do is insert my videos from file, and I've got these videos that I'm going to insert in. I've got one, and I resize that, put that up here. Insert video two. 
There we go. And insert video three. And I can worry about getting these all sized just right in a little bit here. So maybe, I uh, see, this one needs to be a little smaller. So I can see it's 104 by 185. So I could do the same thing here. Get those 104, 185, 104, 185. And just like other shapes on the screen, I can take these and I can arrange them. I can align them on the top to get them nice and flush. I can align them to distribute them horizontally. So it's kind of neat. I can work with video just like I can other objects. And once again, I can choose to have the video controls on these. Maybe I want the learner to click on each of these to watch and we'll have them play when clicked so they don't all start playing automatically. Although that could be sort of a neat thing. Uh, maybe it's some other type of course where you want all the videos to be playing simultaneously. But there we go, once again, We've just taken our multiple choice questions. We've rearranged the choices down here. We've inserted three videos, have them all start on click. So when we go to preview this, there we go. Learner has the opportunity to play one, two, or three all at the same time. So pretty slick, pretty easy, pretty simple to do. Oh, where is it? Yield maybe, is this the correct one? Oh, I'm going to go try it again. Um, is that the one? No, it's this one over here. Oh, I don't know. But you know what? Just that quickly, we've got three um, videos there on the screen. Quizmaker does an awesome job of handling it. All right, so the third type of video question that we're going to do in Quizmaker here is a hotspot video-based question. And so what I have is I have a blank slide here. I've got a question that I've already written on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blank slide and I'm going to convert it to freeform. And I'm going to choose hotspot. There we are. I click OK. And what I can do right from there is I'm going to add my videos and to actually to make this a little bit quicker, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go back to this other slide where they already are. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste them. So control C on my keyboard on the PC and then V, control V. So to paste it, control C, control V. And just like that, I've got my three videos. But watch this. This is really slick. From form view, when I've chosen a hotspot question, I can add a hotspot right here. You'll see a picture of the slide. I add a rectangle, and I want the learner to click on the video uh, to choose which video they think is correct to submit their answer then. When I draw a rectangle here, watch this, go back to slide view. It's there as well, pretty slick. So I add a hotspot, and I'm gonna cover each of these videos just like this. Add a rectangle. Choose which rectangle is the correct answer here, so which video, and then let's preview this. I can play the videos, and then the learner is going to click the correct video. And actually, in this case, they're technically clicking the hotspot, but the learner doesn't know that. They think they're clicking the video, and they submit, and they get the correct response. So one thing you'll want to be careful of, however, I'm going to come to slide view. Make sure that you don't cover your controls with the hotspot, because if you do, we come in here, you go to click, and you can't play the video because Quizmaker thinks, well, that's part of the answer. So what you want to make sure that you do here in slide view is make sure that your controls, if you're using them, are not covered up by that hotspot. So there you go. That's the third way that you can create a video-based quiz uh, question in Quizmaker. Uh, using the hotspot tool, it's really fun. It's really easy to do. So three different ways to do it. You can have a single video, a multiple choice based question. And once again, remember that tip that you can have those questions appear after the video if you want the learner to have to watch it. You can have three different videos on a slide. Just take those multiple choice question responses and move them about the slide and get them situated where you'd like them to be. And then finally, using a hotspot question um, in Quizmaker, a really fun, really fast, easy way to create um, that video-based quiz question. If you have any questions about Quizmaker, about using video in Quizmaker, video-based questions in Quizmaker, please join us in the eLearning Heroes forums, and we will do our best to help you out. Take care, everybody.